Hello, my name is Adonis, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing what are they seek you want to tell you spread for all of my Gemini out there. So, let's get after it. Okay. <clears throat> Sun rising Venus in Jupiter. Sun, moon rising Venus in Jupiter. Sun rising Venus in Jupiter. One more shuffle. Sun moon rising Venus in Jupiter. Show my cards in the sea. Show my cards in the sea. What are they seek you want to tell all of my Gemini out there? Wow, that came out. Cool. What do they secretly want to tell all of my Gemini out there? What do they secretly want to tell all of my Gemini out there? Okay, here we go. Hmm, interesting. Ooh, okay. All right. Let's get it in here. So, Queen of Swords. This person is a straight talker, a straight shooter. I call this my no BS card. So this person is a pretty pretty much a straight shooter. Okay. Um they're very uh they're very logic based individual here. This is um this is potentially an air, an air sign individual here, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy here. Um and this person is just just pretty much tells it like it is. So, um, this person, if they have not, they soon will, uh, they they soon will be approaching you, and it'll be pretty obvious as to what their intentions are here. We also we got the cherry card here as well here, and this is an individual that's moving very rapidly uh, towards their passions here, and they're in their in their they're they're kind of. Pulling and guiding things as they go. So when this person does approach you, um, uh, you know this person's going to uh, really try to guide the conversation where they need it to go, so that you can you can kind of. So if, if in case you're not really getting it, this person is going to really guide you, uh, guide you into a place where it becomes obvious that hey, this is what's really going on here. Okay. Um, so it won't hit, stay hidden for very long. Also, we have the King of Wands energy here. That means this person has is, is thinking about the macro, the bigger picture instead of the micro here. So where are things going to be like, you know, how are things going to be like a month from now, a year from now? So this person has put a great deal of thought into it. Um, and, and um, you know, they've also, they projected out, you know, a couple steps ahead here uh, 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 as to how this thing is going to go. That's what I believe the cherry card and kind of guide it in that direction. Also, this person has a great deal of intuition. Okay, the high priestess energy here. So that tells me that there may have been some telltale signs between the, the two of you. Maybe some kind of flirtatious, you know, flirtatious banter, if you will. Um, so that that's that's an issue as well. We also got the justice card here, which means transparency so um i think that you know they're just they're just gonna come out with it that's what the queen of swords energy is all about just coming out with it being straightforward but with that being said i think the things have been pretty transparent as to where this person's where this person's coming from really um for for, for a while and you got the nine of pentacles here representing the all the ingredients are here for a very successful, robust relationship. And that combined with the Wheel of Fortune says that, you know something? It looks like things are really going to start turning in your favor. And this looks like really, and it really feels like the potential here to be something really substantial and serious. But with that being said, we always have to look and see what, what kind of, you know, what what's the... What's the downside of this situation? And when I say the downside, it's not necessarily to say that this is what's going to happen. So there's nothing you can do about it. I'm telling you about the blockages so that you can actually do something about it to have that smooth transition that you want. Okay. So there you go. what are the potential blockages here? 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 Yeah. Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards that I need to see. Show me cards that I need to see. Here we go. Here we go. Uh -huh. Woo! 
Alrighty, so there are quite a few blockages here, so let, and they're serious too. Okay, so <clears throat> um got a ten of swords here. Okay? Ten of swords. A ruination of plans, feelings the feeling of some someone being stabbed in the back. So in other words, um that's why this this person is going to be very clear about how you know what they're <clears throat> what they're looking what they're looking for in a relationship because th there's a possibility here if they don't there must be someone else on the periphery here as well because it's it's this feeling of betrayal this feeling of being stabbed in the back here um again the potential blockages here there's someone else that's 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 in your orbit that is being uh, maybe a little bit more obvious at this point in time. Also, this has been causing this individual great, a, a great deal of stress here with the Nine of Swords here. So, again, there's someone else that's definitely in the mix here. Um, and we also got here a Three of Swords here, which means there is a potential third-party situation here. Now... What makes this situation that much more uh, uh, tragic is that there's a potential third party situation here. Uh, I believe this. I believe they kind of know each other. I believe they or they know of each other here in this situation. Um, and both of these individuals are are uh, 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 could quite possibly be uh, volleying for your attention here at this particular time. Um, and, and that's what we that's what we see going on here. Um, yeah, that's exactly what this feels like at this point. There, there's another party involved here in this situation. It's also uh, vying for your affections here, and this is causing this individual a great deal of stress. Um, and also, we have the wheel of fortune here. We got the tower card. So, the wheel of fortune, you know, where it's though is moving in favor of you right now. For that individual, for, for in you right now, um, I do have the sense here that the will of fortune can come to an abrupt end. Um, there's a potential for things come, to come to an abrupt end for there to be a tower moment here. That means that this other individual on the periphery uh, may just garner your attentions a little bit more than this individual here, um, or maybe they're further. You know, maybe they're going to come direct a lot sooner. That explains why we have the situation with the Queen of Swords, and they're just going to be straight up direct about it. Because I have the impression that this other person that's in this spread here, uh, this this person is just on the edges here, is going to be very obvious, and this person is going to be very, you know, like I said, both these people have been vying for your affections for quite some time. But I believe the other individual, like the, that's why there's this sudden tower moment. The other person is just making come out and say, "Hey, listen, let's just go out on a date. Let's see what let's let's see where things are." And this is going to leave leave this person to feeling kind of betrayed, kind of left out in the cold, so to speak. So it's going to happen suddenly too, and I and I believe they feel it's going to happen suddenly here. And we have a page of swords energy as well. Now again, page of swords energy is all about. Either something being novice, something being new, there being a naivete, or there's an aspect of immaturity. And in the fears of the heart, there is definitely an aspect of immaturity. I mean, it's just the nature of how it is. Um, especially if someone feels as though that someone's attentions and affections are being pulled in another direction. Um and, and and so and so there there's this feeling of being left out and you can and a person and again when a person's hurt being immature you know it, it it's not uncommon okay um and finally here we have the temperance card an equal give and take potential blockages here um again this individual has may have the uh, the feeling of not feeling like you have you're, you're 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 giving them as much attention as you're giving this other individual here, uh, and, and so that's what may lead to the feeling of betrayal and and, and that sort of thing. So they they feel like it wouldn't be an equal give and take. There that things wouldn't be balanced there. So 
Um, with that being said, let's see what additional information Spirit wants to give before I shut this thing down. What additional information Spirit want to give before I shut this thing down here? What additional information Spirit want to give before I shut this thing down here? What additional information Spirit want to give before I shut this thing down here? Yep, yep, yep. So, first and foremost, it's going to be some friction. Friction meaning that there is going to be, things aren't going to be smooth here with this situation at all. The things aren't going to be smooth at all. It's going to be, there's going to be fragments. Things are going to be fragmented to a certain extent here. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a lot of friction here, potential friction with this individual here. Because we do have another person involved. But what... Spirit also is saying along with that friction, there's also going to be a lot of heat. Okay? There, there's a great deal of attraction that it there, there's a great deal of attraction that you guys do have for one another. That's just someone else. That may also be on the periphery here, you know, vying for your affections as well. Um but spirit's saying, you know what, nevertheless. Continue to stay in motion. Just, uh, you know, there's even a potential here that that really you have feelings for both of these individuals here. Um, and that's where this friction is going to kind of take place here. The, the, the friction here is going to be, you know, ended up, end up being between all three of you because, you know, I, I get the sense that especially... Uh, the person that I was reading for the potential air sign individual here um, is is that they, they kind of want you to make a decision, right? So uh, they're going to force you to make a decision here. And, and again, there's there's sexual chemistry between m most likely you and these and, and both of these individuals. There's definitely some some chemistry here. But Spirit's saying whatever happens, continue to stay in motion. Just keep. Keep moving forward, and it'll 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 it, it'll work itself out. Okay, um, don't get too stressed about it. Just kind of stay on course, and things will work themselves out. So, with that being said, I'm gonna shut this thing down now. This is a general love reading. It may not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, you want to know more about this particular situation, I will leave a link down in the description box below. Also, if you haven't already, please like, please share, and absolutely subscribe. It really helps the channel, but it also helps the algorithm really. Help me get out to the other people that may enjoy this style of tarot reading, okay? So, again, I love you guys. My name is Adonis, and I will absolutely, positively see you next time. Bye-bye.